former U.S. Senator Rick Santorum of Pennsylvania won the Louisiana presidential primary election Saturday, but still trails former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney by a wide margin in the 2012 Republican Party nomination race. Let me, uh, let me just thank everybody for coming out. I just want to say to the people of Louisiana, thank you very much. Uh, you have come through and come through in a big way, and, and on behalf of uh, my family and uh, and all the people up here uh, who have who are gathered with us tonight here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, just let me thank you for uh, for making a very clear and uh, and crisp statement, and that is that you don't believe, as the pundits have said, that r this race is over. Uh, you didn't get the memo that the uh, that the rest. <laughs> that the, uh, Romney went into the Louisiana oh, contest you. with 563 delegates. Santorum was a distant thank second you, with 263. Former U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Newt Gingrich of Georgia was third with 135, you, and U.S. Representative Ron Paul of Texas was fourth with 50. In Saturday's primary in the region of the breathtaking bayou, 20 of the state's delegates will be allocated proportionately among candidates earning more than 25 percent of the vote. Another 23 delegates will be selected at the state Republican convention in June. Santorum's victory in social conservative heavy Louisiana cuts Romney's delegate lead slightly and gives the Santorum campaign at least bragging rights, if not outright momentum. But it remains to be seen if the Louisiana data point will be any different from previous installments of this long 2012 Republican nomination process. The very state-specific nomination process to date is the reason why the term bragging rights is more appropriate than momentum regarding the significance of Saturday's Louisiana event. Although the state contains a large Catholic voting bloc, which is moderate nationally, Louisiana's Catholics are culturally more conservative than Catholics in the Northeast, Midwest, and West. So Santorum, who has emphasized social conservatism over other conservatism strands, was expected to and did perform so well among these Louisiana voters. Santorum's Louisiana victory has to be put in the category of a mere short-term bragging right. Santorum, as he did in Mississippi and Alabama, won in a state that fits his brand, social conservatism. But there was little evidence Saturday to suggest he can attract the economic conservatism-oriented and more moderate voters away from Romney. If Santorum performs poorly on April 3rd, the strong chatter among GOP operatives and elected officials to pressure Santorum to end his campaign, and also the 2012 Republican Party nomination race, may grow into a full-blown war. The U.S. economic expansion appears to be strengthening, and the economy, aided by Obama's fiscal stimulus and the U.S. Federal Reserve's monetary policies, is now creating about 200,000 new jobs per month and appears to be arcing towards 250,000 per month. If it does reach that level of job growth, the U.S. unemployment rate will decline, and historically, voters re-elect presidents when the economy is experiencing strong job growth, with the unemployment rate declining. The re-election of Bill Clinton and Ronald Reagan are two modern era examples. Unless Santorum can show some strength outside the South and his social conservative base soon, he will face what is likely to be convincing pressure to end his campaign and for an obvious reason. Time is beginning to creep up on the Republicans. Jessica Minton, IB Times TV.